What's up everybody, welcome to Midiverse TV. Today we're going to be talking about expanding a semi-modular synthesizer. For this example, we're going to be using an Arturia Mini Brute 2. So first we'll check out what the Mini Brute 2 sounds like on its own, and then we'll do five additional patches using each of these modules. Let's check it out. So the first module we're going to patch up here is the Noise Reap Utility VCO. And this is just the standard analog VCO. So we're going to add that along with the two VCOs on board the Mini Brute 2 for a total of three. And let's check it out. The second module we're going to patch up is Braids from Mutable Instruments. This is a digital oscillator that has all sorts of different sounds in it. We'll go ahead and check that out. Thank you. 
The next module we're going to check out is the 4046 Wave Shaper module. This is from Barton Musical Circuits. So this module takes an input frequency and then multiplies and divides it and then mixes those together to create a new timbre. Here's what that sounds like. The fourth module we're going to check out is just a simple passive switch. And in this patch, we're going to use it to switch between the two LFOs on board the Mini Brute 2. This is just one example. You could use it for all sorts of different things. The last module we're going to check out is Elements for Mutable Instruments. And this time we're going to listen to the output directly from the module. And we're going to use several control voltages from the Mini Brute 2 to control the module, as well as the CV and gate signals from the keyboard as well. Let's check it out.
Thanks for watching this episode of Midiverse TV. Feel free to check us out at midiversetv.blogspot.com. And you can also add us on Twitter at midiverse underscore TV. Thanks. Peace.